First of all, happy High School Musical anniversary. Ten years. Yeah. Yeah, it happens, you it know, happens. that's how it goes. But I, I, I feel like this, I feel the same way because my kids love that, that show so much and then the album and the over and over and over again. You know all the lyrics. It's, you know, I mean, it's crazy, but, <laughs> and for me, I, really, Grease was kind of like that. When, mm -hmm. when I, we'd watch that VHS over and over yeah. and over again. Yeah. Did you watch, did you, like, was the Grease movie, it, you, are you too young for that, or is No, it... I mean, I definitely watched it growing up. I feel like it was always a part of my life. And you loved it, I would yeah, guess. Yeah, of course, but I was always Sandy. I was never Rizzo. I was Sandy, too. I was always Sandy. <laughs> Everyone was Sandy. Of course you were Sandy. None of the little girls want to be Rizzo. No, they they like, want to be Sandy. Mean. Yeah, right. Yeah. Rizzo's like, yeah, like a ball buster. Yeah. So is, is, is that what you were, did you originally want to be Sandy, or did you welcome Rizzo? I welcomed Rizzo. I mean, she's such an amazing part. Now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's tough. It is kind of a better part, isn't it? I mean... Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Yeah, it's a more. Uh, it's got more kind of spunk. Yeah, to she's it. got grit. You didn't go to actual high school, did you? you? No. So this is really for you, the musical in Greece. It's like that's your high school. Yeah, I never graduate. Can you read? Like, do you know how to read and stuff? <laughs> I do. And spell. And Lovely. spell things? Yeah, you Sometimes. can add, you can do fractions yeah, and that yeah. sort of thing. Still working on that. <laughs> that is a little weird, though, to be playing a school. Like, you know, I some know. people go to great lengths to research their roles. You didn't even go to high school for I either know. one of these. I'm things. failing miserably. <laughs> Are you nervous about the live element, the live television? Um, I wasn't until today. I was rehearsing today, and we were doing Sandra D. And I stepped on a bench in front of the bed, and it flipped, and I just fell on my butt so hard. I think I'm gonna like have bruises. You know, the just, worst thing is people. I think happens. a lot of people watch this for that moment. They're I know, looking it's horrible. for. It's Something. horrible. It is People want you to mess up. I you know. think you're dying, and someone wants you to mess up, and they're like, "Ah, oh, it's so funny," and you're like, "I hurt." But isn't it? <laughs> ultimately, don't you win either way? Because isn't it still like if it, if something happens, and I mean, provided it's not too embarrassing, yeah. it's more interesting that way. It is. Like I just did my first Broadway run, which was very exciting, and um, so I, that's good preparation. Yeah, sure. it really was. I mean, I know what it's like to do live theater now. But I had a night where an understudy was on, and um, she comes out carrying this tray full of champagne glasses because we're about to sing the night they invented champagne. And this glass breaks, and I look at it, and I'm like, do I acknowledge this glass, or do I just continue? And I'm like, I'm going to continue. And she goes, oh, no, it looks like I've broken a glass. That's all right. We'll share. And I'm like, <laughs> what is happening? And I look at my co-star, and I see in his eyes he has no idea what we're supposed to say next. Yeah, right. Like, eventually, we picked it back up, but for those few seconds, I felt like I was literally going to die. <laughs> like, just spontaneously combust. And people are like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, ball. yeah, so, well, you know, ad-libbing, you should be the one that throws that curveball to the other actors. You yeah, know, I mean... You try to ruin it for them. Like Casey, <laughs> like Casey ruined The Revenant a little while earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta roll with the punches. There are some bad words in the movie Grease, There, though. There is. Um, we're honoring the movie, for sure, and it still has that same spirit, because it's a family show. We had to modify a few right, things. Right, right, yeah. So there's no... Oh. There's no wagon. Yeah, right, right. I want. We'll probably have, those will probably have been bleeped here on our show too. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Even though I heard that first word every three seconds growing up. Yes. So have you like have you met the cast members from the original? We actually have Dee Dee who played the original Frenchie in our production. Oh, Dee Dee Khan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See that. And I... she's amazing. She um. Who she's... is she? Is she playing Frenchie? She's in... playing Vi. Oh, okay. No, she's not playing. Who's Vi in the... Vi is the waitress who works at the Frosty Palace who has a scene with Frenchie before Beauty School Dropout. So it's amazing. It's like the generation staring at each other. Oh. Um, but she's Does so Does she still cute. have that very she high helium voice? voice. Yeah. She comes to work the first day, and um, she introduces herself, and she's like, I brought gum. Does anybody want bubble gum? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh, I love you. And then another time, I'm, like, laughing, and I'm looking at her, and she goes, oh, you know, that little bit of Frenchie I still have in my back pocket wants to say, you OK, Riz? <laughs> it's a like, very good imitation. I can imitation. die now. I can <laughs> die now. <laughs> what about Travolta and Olivia Newton-John? Are they involved? Do you know them? They're not involved. I once danced adjacent to John Travolta at an Oscar party once, but that's 
kind of the extent of our interaction. Was he doing the the Travolta stuff? Yeah, I was waiting for. I was doing it behind him, like oh, you hoping are, yeah. he'd like pick it up and do it, but I don't think he. Did. Yeah, I think he. Uh, I think for him, that's probably a lot of pressure. I think people want him to dance when he's at parties. Yeah, you expect it. Yeah. You're which, like, do the disco. Yeah, do, do the, the disco. Yeah, everybody gather around and you dance, and then you're yeah, like, oh god, get me the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it. That's the closest. Just that, that's the closest. I've Travolta Adjison, huh? Yep. It's like a real estate listing. Well, it's very good. Good, good luck. I mean, this is, uh, you know, it's. I, I love this live thing because you really don't know what no. will happen. It's so ambitious. And you really should do something to ruin it. I really would if I was you. <laughs> just some weird little th or some throw just in. like straight down the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Go straight down you the barrel. Know. That's Vanessa Hudgens. She's going straight down the barrel. This line is January 31st on Fox. Oh, look at this over there. It's Danny Zuko. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. And if you'd like to take our relationship to the next level, click the subscribe button below. I'll wait for you.